Good morning, Ralph here from uh, Squirrel Hill Farm in uh, central Alabama. It's about 7.15 in the morning. I just turned the chickens out and I want to come over here while it's still kind of cool and look over my favorite plant project. This got carried away. I didn't expect this much growth, but it is coming on strong. This is a, a loofah plant. It has gone wild. As you can see, it's got a lot of blossoms. Starting to get some fruits on it. These are prolific vining plants. Here's a here's a nice uh, loofah starting. They are growing everywhere. Now what's funny, we only planted them on the one trellis over here. They have spread to the left, off the ends. My wife had planted uh, some cucumbers on this one and uh, the loofahs have taken over there. I've trimmed some of the, the vines off. It won't hurt them. They just grow and grow. Here's two fruits. They're coming on. See them? The flowers are at the ends. Some of them will grow 20 inches. Uh, from my experience in the past. This year's planting, this is a second planting. The first planting got kind of ate by the rabbits, I guess. And they, uh, just uh, disappeared after about three days. So we threw some seeds strictly to grad and they, uh, they took right off. They're planted in a chicken manure from the hen house and uh, some bag dirt that we got at uh, Walmart and uh, I've given them some homemade fertilizer. About uh, three, three different times. They're growing up all the way over. Uh, that's about six foot high right there. They're growing up over the tops. We've got flowers everywhere. And I'll tell you, the mason bees love these flowers. There's a fruit there. That's a nice fruit there. I, I imagine in about two weeks there'll be fruits everywhere on it. And you won't be able to see this. It'll be covered. I'll have to cut leaves off where the fruits could grow. That's why I'm down here this morning kind of looking over it. Just thought I'd show it off. And then I'm going to go over here and look at my fig. Got lots of figs this year. It's the first year that we've had this many fruits. Don't really do much to it. I bought this thing like five years ago and stuck it in the ground. Didn't have much the first couple years. Had a few last year. I trimmed it back once. And it just took off. 